immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant we pray that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son which you foresaw, so through her intercession may we too be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman who put you, you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Response is, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. 
The Lord has made salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for our adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will for the praise and glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we are also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we may exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and by the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. I always love the Marian feast days because I've always grown up with a strong devotion to Our Lady because we see what an important role that she plays in the life of salvation history. You know, where it's through her that we have the Messiah who comes to us. Through her, yes, that we heard in today's gospel, she's able to give birth to the Savior. And this is what Mary does continually, you know, throughout history and including up to today with all the Marian apparitions, is her goal is to bring her closer to her son. And of course, as the, the infinite, infinite words of uh, St. Louis de Mumford, to Jesus through Mary. It is through Our Lady that we're able to become closer to Christ. And in today's celebration, we specifically celebrate the, the mystery of her Immaculate Conception. 
And of course, there's many titles we attribute to Our Lady, but Immaculate Conception is very special to us as this is the paternal feast day of the United States. Now, when you think about the Immaculate Conception, what we understand is that Mary was conceived without the stain of original sin, meaning that she was the perfect vessel to receive the Messiah. Now, when we think about how, what a profound mystery this is, we only have to go back to today's first reading from the book of Genesis. Because we see in the Garden of Eden there was this perfect utopia. It was the, the pristine place where there was a right order and right relationship with God. But it is through the serpent, who represents is symbolic of evil, that Eve, the first woman, eats of the fruit of tree of knowledge, and evil enters into the world, and the, the humans become marred by the stain of original sin. And this is where it's the fall of Eve that is important today, because we also know that it is through another woman, the Blessed Virgin Mary, through her yes, that the, that the remedy for evil is overcome in the world. Because it is through Mary's yes that we are able to receive the Messiah. We are able to have our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, born through the Virgin, enter into the world to die for our sins. Without Mary's yes, none of us would be here today. Without Mary's yes, we, would have, we wouldn't have hope in the eternal life and the resurrection. And it is through Mary's yes to following God's divine will that she leaves us all the example of how we're called to open ourselves up to God's will, no matter, how, no matter what that sounds like. Now we see in today's gospel passage, the angel Gabriel says, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. How often do we say these, in the, these words in the Hail Mary without thinking about them? And what a profound meaning it is that Our Lady is full of grace. She was, she was already full of the grace of God before she conceived, and then of course she bore the, the womb, and she bore in her womb, Jesus. And of course this is why we call her the Ark of the Covenant, because she is the author of the new and eternal covenant. It is through her, through her yes that she bore the new covenant into the world. She bore our Savior. And this is where she gave birth to the remedy of sin and death. I also love how in today's second reading, it reminds us that we're called to be, to be holy and without blemish before him. Our Lady, of course, is the par excellence image of this because she is the one who was born without the stain of original sin, but she's a reminder that all of us are also called to strive after that. Just as Our Lady lived without that original sin and without that temptation, so too we're called to live holy and unblemished lives because this is the image that God has given us. We're called to model our lives after Our Lady, where she says yes to God's will and even at the most demanding times, but she also lived a holy and unblemished life. And today as we celebrate the Immaculate Conception, we celebrate that she was born without the stain of original sin so that we could have the, Messiah, have the Messiah born through her. So too, we are called to live upstanding lives like that. We are called to live lives that are full of grace. And we are called to live lives that are, bring us closer to Christ. So today as we continue our celebration of the Immaculate Conception, let us give ourselves over to Our Lady so that we can be more like her to follow God's will. And may Our Lady each and every day lead us closer to her Son, the author of our salvation, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us together profess our faith using the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we now offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the Church, may God help us grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders in government, may God strengthen them in their efforts to protect all life from conception until natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For expectant mothers, may God's grace be poured out upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. For the community gathered here, may God heal us of all might, all that might separate us from his love. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, marked with the sign of Christ's love, may they rest in peace and perfect communion of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For the people of St. Gregory the Great Parish, let us pray to the Lord. Let us together offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father as we pray. Hail Mary, full Full of grace, grace, the Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed Blessed art thou amongst women, and and blessed blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Pray for for our sinners, sinners, now and at the the hour hour of our death. death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any state of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For you preserve the Most Blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in company with choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Gregory the Great, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice for our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind of to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Oh. 
for him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Mary, for from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in the wounds of that, of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserve the Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the offer of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer for renewal. In In every every age, O God, God, you have have called called us to be your your people, people, to be your church. In this time, we begin anew to discern the pathways that will lead us, your people, closer to you. Continually bless our journey as we proclaim your good news. Celebrate your saving presence among us. Serve others with charity and justice. And steward the world you have entrusted to our care. Send your spirit to lead and guide our Emmaus journey as we commit ourselves to the renewal of our church. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.